February 29th. What do you want the Lord to do for you? Lord, that I may receive my sight. Luke 18, 41. What is the thing that not only disturbs you, but makes you a disturbance? It is always something you cannot deal with yourself. They rebuked him that he should hold his peace, but he cried so much the more. Persist in the disturbance until you get face to face with the Lord himself. Do not deify common sense. When Jesus asks us what we want him to do for us in regard to the incredible thing which we are faced, remember that he does not work in common sense ways, but in supernatural ways. Watch how we limit the Lord by remembering what we have allowed him to do for us in the past. I always failed there, and I always shall. Consequently, we do not ask for what we want. It is ridiculous to ask God for this. If it is an impossibility, it is the thing we have to ask. If it is not an impossible thing, it is not a real disturbance. God will do the absolutely impossible. This man received his sight. The most impossible thing to you is that you should be so identified with the Lord that there is nothing of the old life left. He will do it if you ask him, but you have to come to the place where you believe him to be almighty. Faith is not in what Jesus says, but in himself. If we only look at what he says, we shall never believe. When once we see Jesus, he does the impossible thing as naturally as breathing. Our agony comes through the willful stupidity of our own heart. We won't believe. We won't cut the shoreline. We prefer to worry on.